I grew up in Camp Taylor in the 60s. When I was a child, there was all these stories. Some of them were homespun, and I was dead, you know, found to go uh, find out the, the real truths behind these stories. Camp Taylor was one of 16 national army camps that were built across the United States in 1917 at the onset of World War I. It was a big boom economically, population-wise, tax-wise, for the city to get. Probably in the mid-90s or so, uh, started coming across a few artifacts in, in antique stores. Had no idea that they existed. There was a lot of little bitty bits of information that are just scattered everywhere that you can put together when you find out you know, who's who. Several of the photographs were really, really interesting. So I started searching more and more. One of the many souvenir books, the images taken at Camp Taylor, they had several different ones. And of course, eBay came online at about the same time. All these historical military artifacts started pouring into eBay. This uniform here was one of the acquisitions we've made. It really kept them warm, really warm. This is where the headquarters group is. It was built for 44,000 people. And 10,000 horses and at the peak it was 59,000 they ran out of buildings so they had a little tent city there on Preston Street there's a lot of history there there's a lot of a lot of interesting people who came through there F Scott Fitzgerald is the name he was only here for a short period of time but he did develop a lot of his characters for the great Gatsby from Louisville another gentleman by the name of Richard Travers who was a silent movie star he had 160 film credits prior to World War one so that hillside right there with the arrows pointing to is where this picture was taken I just find it thrilling you know to discover this stuff and figure out where these places were. and This just fascinates me. I've been working on it for 25 years. I've just about digitized everything. A lot of soldiers that came from Camp Taylor that died during World War I, and there's no recognition for them. Where are you aiming to change that? We want to bring it to the forefront, to the military history level it should have. It's going to be a museum slash memorial. And it'd be a jewel in the pocket of the city of Louisville. Like I said, I've been working on it for 25 years trying to get to this point, and hopefully I'm getting closer and closer.